Hi, welcome back. It's Lionel Tech Lead and Partner at Westfall. And today we're continuing my series about starting your business as a PHP software developer. Okay, and we're making that big transition as I said last week on the last video about the reason why I want to make this transition into that. So in this video, right, I'm going to give you five reasons why you want to start a side hustle as a software developer especially doing PHP, right? Now, let's give you some background. I am talking to people who are about 24, 25. You've just been in the business for one or two years, right? And you're looking around and you're going online and you see this guy, a tech lead, been in around for a long time. And he's saying, hey, why not start a side business, a side hustle on top of your software development skill? So this video, I'm going to give you five reasons for that. Okay. The first reason is the company stuffs up. Okay, first reason is company stuffs up. Now let's make an assumption here, okay? You are a top-notch software developer. You know your stuff, you're a great employee, you're working very hard. None of this is on you, okay? Where the first thing that could happen is your company stuffs up. The first point could be that they just have no product market fit. This is the most common thing to happen, right? You hear all the startups out there, all the companies out there, uh, they just can't get traction with their product. And you might be saying, hey, you know, I thought they would fail in the first year. It could be five years down the road. As I said, a lot of companies, a lot of things, a lot of the products kind of don't stick. And then after a while, they have to lay you off. And it's nothing to do. You could be the best programmer that ever existed. And if the product doesn't make the grade right, somebody is going to leave the company or the whole company could fold up. And then some of you guys will say, hey, you know, what if I work for the big guys, right? Same thing could happen. Whole entire divisions get closed down. You know, you say, oh, Google, remember Frogo, Orkut? All this kind of stuff could happen. Even if that doesn't happen, let's say it's not corporate failure, right? There could be inter-social, inter-company failure. Like you could hate your CEO, you could hate the product manager, product manager could not like you, uh, CTO could not like you, uh, head of marketing, could, you could have a clash that makes going to work unbearable. Now this has happened to me personally, right? Uh, I've been involved in companies where uh, I didn't see eye to eye with the CEO, I felt that we were going the wrong direction, um, he didn't understand the tech, I have been in a company where the head of marketing didn't like what I was doing because we pushed back on a lot of things that she wanted. And that tension just you know, created a very unhealthy working environment. That's why I am a tech lead running my own thing. But this could happen to you and it could not even be your fault, okay? You could be just a great guy and they say, go this direction, go that direction. Product management is the one who makes the mistake and you may have to pay for that. So this is the first reason why you need that alternative plan. And people, some people say, hey, no, I'll just jump ship. I'll get another job. Yeah, you know, how many times are you going to do that before HR comes up and starts looking at you? So this is the first reason. Now, the second reason is issues with yourself. Okay, so this could be things to do with just plain old burnout. You've been working in the industry you know, 10 years and you just had enough, like for no apparent reason, it sneaks up on you. Maybe you're doing the same thing 100 times. Maybe you just don't like the language. Maybe they asked you to do Node.js or we're still try to, you know, do front end um, JavaScript. They might have to turn around and say, hey, you know, I, we're loving this new Angular thing. Doesn't really matter. You know, it could be somebody like that and you've got an issue with that and you just had enough and you want to take a break or you want to get out, right? That's where you want to have this alternative down there. You could be sick. You could have, you know, a traumatic family issues. Uh, you know, you could have a uh, pain, copper tunnel in your hands. You could have a headache. You could have uh, gone to the doctor, right? A lot of you guys, especially when you're past 30 something, when you're like tech lead level and you run into your medical checkup and it says, hey, you know, you can't be pulling those night, uh, late nighters, uh, pizza and coke are not very good for your health. These things will creep up and you want to have that alternative as a PHP developer 
that you have something on the side going for it. The next reason is issues with other people. So this one I've seen very commonly with, um, you know, usually the spouse or your kids and they're putting on stuff about your work life. So you might have somebody who maybe their spouse has got a better job uh, elsewhere. They have to move. Uh, another issue is that maybe they need you back for, uh, you know, with the kids. These are issues that other people put on you. You might have, you know, your family, somebody is sick, not you sick, family member is sick and you need to make those changes. And mentally, software development is a very mentally draining activity, right? Unless you're doing something very simple, it's going to drain your brain and it might not be suitable. A lot of guys, software guys I know, have uh, done a quick flip into very uh, technical stuff like driving trucks uh, just so that they could relieve the amount of taxation on their brain. And so this is a reason that could be a third party. You never think about it when you're that young, but this could come up and you want to be ready for it. Now, the fourth reason, of course, is a very good one. It's very common to everything, which is a little extra money goes a long way, especially when it's some of like a semi-passive style of income. Now, let me tell you, right, a lot of you guys scoff. I'm not talking about people who, uh, you know, I, the fang earning big big bucks i'm talking about those guys you know that you are you know, you're doing okay you know middle level and you'll be very surprised right where a couple of hundred bucks each month makes a whole world of difference you know between uh you know having an additional money that you can spend or relief that your account doesn't go over so extra money really helps out uh in the long run especially if it's something that is recurring. And um, you know, right, inflation is coming up all over the world right now. So you can't keep going back to your employer and say, hey, this morning coffee is $7, um, I, I need a raise. And he'll say, no, wait for your annual re review, re wait for this, wait for that. You can't do that. Whereas if you have a side business that thinks generating money, you're going to feel a lot more comfortable um, being a uh, living, you know, like I was just at the, I, I don't really go get coffees these days that might actually get coffee at 7-Eleven. And, um, I noticed that one day I said, Hey, I, I want to sit down, uh, and I work a bit remotely and I got a coffee and it was $6 and 50 cents, a uh, big change from $2.70, uh, 7-Eleven coffee. And, uh, I thought, you know, they're about $5 these days. So having that side hustle, bringing that money, it's going to cover some of this extra 70 cents of pain that's there. You can say, hey, I'm making that, I'm covering. And you'll be very surprised how um, less stress there is on you when you have that. It's very a big difference between zero, crossing into the negative area and having a little bit of a buffer. And then the final reason why I wanted you guys to think about the side hustle is that it gives you options and flexibility. That's a very important word in this world, okay? Now, you know that a lot of things are changing, but some AI could be there. It could take your job. Maybe, I don't know. You know, things could change, or maybe you want to be a digital nomad for a little while. You want to check out what Bali is all about. You want to check out, you know, what Southeast Asia is about. You want to go to Australia, you want to work on your golf handicap, you want to buy a car. Whatever it is, right, you want flexibility. You don't want to be 100% reliant on your software development skills that when that thing doesn't come true, you have no flexibility. The other thing that's underestimated about flexibility and options is the mental um, relief and comfort it gives you by having these options available. You can say, hey, fine, I'm out, you know, uh, even if you're, let's say, you're in a company, right, and there is a retrenchment uh, exercise going on, if you're the guy with no options down there, right, you're worried. It's like, gee, what am I going to do? The next two, three months, you know, I'm going to start preparing. I could be one of those guys. The CEO comes up and say, hey, guys, you know, it didn't look very good. 
uh, some of you are going to have to go or, or there's been a takeover or Elon Musk came over and you're working at Twitter. Uh, you could be one of those guys. And what you don't want to be doing is instead of filling up your time, actually generating your, your backup plan, the, the fact that you have those options and you have this thing running around and you're running the system, that can give you enormous comfort and say, hey, look, if I'm one of those guys, great, you know, uh, I'm going to take that early severance pay, I'm going to take those uh, exercised options, and I'm going to spend, uh, you know, every day an extra three hours of on my side business, and maybe I can increase that as well. So you're actually looking forward to that, you're having those options over there. So these are the five reasons why you want to do this, especially if you're a PHP developer, because PHP is so powerful, especially for the uh, solopreneur or entry level or startup. PHP is so good for doing all these kind of things. Now, I want to make one more point about this whole thing about the job stuff um, in that you don't expect companies. I'm going to say this one more time, right? Do not expect a company to be looking out for your welfare. This is one of the top things I learned um, probably five, eight years in the industry that, you know, there's only one person that looks up for your interest and that's you. The function of a business is to look after itself. Okay, so let me make this crystal clear. Let's say tomorrow, let's, let's not talk about AI, it sounds a bit too sexy, but let's say somebody comes in exactly the same as you, wants to do the job 20% less, you could be looking out in the street. There's nothing wrong, the company's interest is for themselves, that's what it is, or their shareholders. Your interest is for yourself. So this is one of the reasons why you want to be working on your self-interest, which is setting up that side hustle with the power of software development slash PHP and getting out and having those options available to you. So that's the bottom line because the tech lead said so.